Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. We are up to day 56 of our 1001 Darrow spreads. Today's reading is an unstructured six card reading. Like all of the other first readings of a particular number of cards, this is a ask any kind of question, lay out the cards, and get the general impression of what's going on. To demonstrate this spread, I am using the Wisdom of the Owls tarot deck. It is a new deck that I am teasing out that I'm getting used to. So let's get into it. So the suggestion with this spread is as you lay out your six cards, think of it as the progression of a story. As you ask your question, think about how do each of these cards as you go through the series add to the meaning? How does it layer one card upon the other to provide additional context to the situation? So for me, what question do I want to ask? Because this is, this is again, a demonstration. This is me demonstrating how to use this spread, not necessarily doing a reading for everyone else. So what has been on my mind? This last year, other than doing YouTube, I really haven't been doing a lot. I've been I've very much been in my hermit phase of life. I've done very little social stuff except with close friends and a handful of family members because I needed that time to withdraw. So my question is, is it time to exit that hermit phase or is it time to stay in it a little longer? We're going to shuffle the cards and see what my answer is. So one of the reasons I bought this deck is... I have a fascination for owls. They are a creature I have, I have had a lot of experiences with throughout my life that were rather formative. So we're going to see how well this deck does in answering my questions. Again, it's unstructured. It's just building a story out of the cards as they are played out. Well, that one wanted to fly away, so we will call that card number one. Ooh, interesting. Card number two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So again, this is a story building upon itself. So the first card I have is the Hanged Man Reversed. The Hanged Man is, in its upright position, being suspended, being in a moment of weightlessness. A decision has not been made. You're, the potential energy is, is present, but the fall has not begun. The climb has not begun. Being reversed, this tells me it's time for action. It's time to start doing again. So let's see what the suggestion of type of movement is, type of changes. We have the Five of Cups. This Five of Cups shows an owl looking directly at three cups that have been spilled, while there are two cups behind him that are still full of water. The Five of Cups is about choices. It's Yes, you've had some missed opportunities, but don't focus so much on the past, on what you missed out on, that you can't see the future, which I think is rather fitting for my question. I've done a lot of introspection over this last year. Well, not quite a year, because um, it'll be a year in November, so that's like two months away but we're getting close to a year. Making a lot of decisions about what I actually want in life and seeing how they don't line up with what I was told I should want growing up. This feels like a reassurance to me that it's okay to let those expectations sit in the past, to turn my head and focus on my actual decisions, on what I actually want in this future. Card number three is the world reversed. So, building upon the last two cards, 
it's time to start taking actions. Don't dwell too much on the past. The world is usually a card of completion, of the ending of something. Being reversed, it's a beginning. It's don't try to, don't try to do everything all at once. Again, going back to the Five of Cups, limit your choices, but still choose. Focus on my part of the world. I don't need to worry about everyone else's problems. I don't need to worry about all of the international issues because I can't actually affect most of them anyways. Focus on what I can actually affect in my own world, in my own portion. Card number four, we have the King of Wands. Wands is the suit of fire. It is the suit of intellectual prowess, of knowing what to do and how to do it. This card, building upon the others, feels like a reassurance of my plan is sound. Now it's just actually take the actions. Card five, or yeah, card five, is the six of pentacles reversed. The six of pentacles is about asking for help. So in its upright position, it usually means go ask someone for help. Being reversed, it's be willing to help when asked which for a long time I have been very cautious about. I got burnt out on giving, as tends to happen when people are part of Christian denominations, particularly Mormons. In addition to being asked to do all sorts of things for the church, I was being extremely overworked at my job, and I was my father's caregiver. That is a lot of giving. Time, energy, money, all of the above. But as I said at the beginning of this, I've kind of been in hermit mode for the last 10 months. In the, I don't care who you are, I am not going out of my way to help anyone. Because we always need, as human beings, we need time to recover. We need time to rebound. And that's what I've been doing. So I see this card as it is okay to start giving time and energy again when it's asked for. I don't need to start going out of my way to find causes to champion, but if people approach me, I should actually consider helping now instead of just having the blanket response of no. Card six is the tower. The tower is a card that many people see in a negative light. It can be, but I've always looked at the tower as dramatic change swift change. When you look at the tower, there is lightning, there is fire, something is collapsing. In this particular card, we are seeing uh, the owl's nest being struck by lightning and catching fire. In terms of my question of should I stay in my hermit state or branch out and start interacting more with the people around me, this makes me feel like I'm not going to have a choice on that particular topic. There is some sort of event that's going to happen that will be swift, it will be sudden and unavoidable, and I'm going to have to start being much more active in my community again. Admittedly, I have moved, so it's a new community, so it's not being active in my community again, it's being active in my new community where I have moved to. Because I've kind of been doing the one foot in, one foot out, and it looks like it's time to start really putting both feet into this. I hope that this demonstration helped you as one possible way of doing an unstructured six-card reading. It's always interesting putting myself out there in readings like this, because a lot of the other readings when I'm doing the demonstrations, I can essentially put myself in somebody else's shoes for it because I'm just demonstrating the, the, the readings. I'm not necessarily doing a, because mass readings are typically not productive in my experience, but I want to still put these resources out there and show there's a lot of different ways you can read tarot. You can use the entire deck. You can use part of a deck. You can vary the number of cards you pull the types of questions you ask. 
I want this to be a series that people can use as a resource, not just entertainment or not just a way to spend time. I hope that this has been beneficial to you. If you have any spreads that you would like me to demonstrate or that you think I'd be interested in, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you would interpret any of these cards differently, let me know. Because we all have different insights. And while the tarot can tell us a lot, sometimes we don't make the same connections that someone else would looking at the same cards. That being said, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.